but it's not August and somebody texted me, shut up. <sighs> Hey guys, it's Jay and today I'm here with my Friday reads for the last weekend of July. I have a total of three books that I'm hoping to get through this weekend. I actually think that I might be able to do it. Maybe not the whole three books, but I don't have anything planned, but the third book is kind of a big one. So we'll see how it goes. I think I can at least get two of them done. So without further ado, let us get started. The first book is Everything Leads to You by Nina LaCour. This was on my July TBR and my booktube on TBR. Did I finish it? Clearly not. I'm about 60 pages in right now, which is chapter 4, so I'm not that far in, but from what I've read so far, I'm really enjoying it. It's about a girl named Emmy and her best friend Charlotte. Emmy's brother has an apartment that he owns in Los Angeles and he says that they can stay for the summer as long as something exciting happens in this apartment. Emmy and Charlotte end up going to an estate sale for a famous actor named Clyde Jones and they end up purchasing a bunch of things. And inside one of the things they purchase is a letter that is signed to a woman named Caroline. And it sets them off on this huge adventure on trying to return this letter to Caroline. I've heard such amazing things about this book from multiple people, so I'm very excited to actually finish it. Again, only 60 pages in, so not very far, but so far I am enjoying it. And I'm going to finish this this weekend, so expect it in my wrap-up. It's gonna happen. The second book that I'm hoping to read this weekend is Where Things Come Back by John Corey Whalen. I have never read a John Corey Whalen book and honestly I have no idea what this one's about but he just wrote Highly Illogical Behavior and I want to read it so badly and this book has won two awards so it's probably good. I've heard a lot of people talk about it and they all loved it. So I found it at my thrift store for $1.95 so I was like I need it in my life. Now I have it, I'm gonna read it and hopefully I enjoy it but it's also very short so I think I'll probably be able to get through this one this weekend as well. The last book is the one that I'm not 100% sure that I'll actually get through because it's a pretty big book and it is Clockwork Prince by Cassandra Clare. I recently read it, Clockwork Angel, 4.5 out of 5 stars, so good, loving the Infernal Devices trilogy. This is the second book in the trilogy and I'm super excited to see where the story goes and I really want to know who Tessa picks, either Jem or Will, in this little love triangle. Which is funny because I usually hate love triangles, but just something about them, I just, you know, I want her to date both of them. I feel like that should be allowed. It's totally fine, whatever, but I want to know where the story goes and I'm super excited to finish it. But I don't know if I'm going to finish it this weekend because it's a pretty hefty book. But we'll see how it goes. Alright guys, so that was my super fast rambly Friday reads. I'll see you all in my next video. Goodbye! And Emmy's brother has a hotel.